Hey guys! <laughs> oh, my voice is like dead. Oh my gosh, I have made so many videos today. But hopefully you guys have been enjoying the video spam since I have been gone for quite a long time. But anyway, like I said, I have a little bit of a list here. So the last thing that I want to talk about is probably the most exciting for most people, and that is that I'm going to be expecting some new dollies. <gasps> dun dun dun! <laughs> But yes, there is one doll that I am expecting that I have already paid off and that I ordered quite a while ago, but again, I've been gone for a while, so you guys don't know. Um, but this is actually somewhat recent compared to the other updates. Cough. Um, <laughs> so yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, I posted on Flickr sort of my wish list, sort of plans that I have for this year, the sort of dollies that I want to get. Um, and it's it's very very limited. It's very slim. I didn't make a giant wish list because you know I'm trying to be realistic with the funds that I have and like what I want to accomplish and not you know be too crazy because I want to be realistic and actually you know accomplish my goals. Um, <laughs> so it's a very very small wish list of um, just three just three sculpts that I want to get this year. If I can get all three of them, I will be very, very, very happy and content. Any more than that is awesome, but three is pretty awesome, I think, if I can manage to get all of them. And um, if you guys don't know what they are, again, well, I will link you to that post on Flickr if you want to hear more in depth about each of them. But the first one I've talked about in tandem forever, I've talked about this character, wanting to shell this character for a very long time, I just have not been able to do it yet. But that is my character Petra who is very important to my characters, Faustus, Euclid, and Hyacinth. They're sort of a little trio. Petra is very important to their characters. Um, and of course, Patina Morrow, who is my little bunny statue. Petra is her creator, um, since she is a little statue. Petra is the one that actually is supposed to have sculpted her. And she's a very important character, like I said, in my unicorn character story. And she is one that I desperately, desperately want to bring home in the future. She is probably, like, gonna come home soon, I hope. Not soon, soon, but, like, the next two dolls, I hope she's one of them. <laughs> So, yeah, she will be coming home soon, sometime soon. Of course, she will be a Fairyland Minifi Mio in tan skin, I am hoping, on the Moe line body. Um, but she is not the one I've ordered, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> the other one that was on my wish list is actually Maro, <laughs> which is the actual bunny version of Patina Maro, who is the statue created in remembrance of the real existing rabbit of Maro. Um, who was Petra's pet rabbit, who she unfortunately ends up murdering um, accidentally and feels a lot of guilt and sorrow, so she creates a statue of Maro in remembrance of her. And I want to get the little bunny version of uh, Maro, and she will be a Paper Sakura, I believe is the company, Ruby. That's, she's a little tiny bunny ball-jointed doll, and I think that'll be just perfect for little Maro in the future, so I can have Petra and Maro together. Um, but anyway, that is the other doll on my wish list, but I did not order her either. <laughs> No, the one that I actually have ordered is the last doll on my wish list, which was actually the last one I expected on getting first. This one I expected that I would be getting towards the end of the year, if not the beginning of next year, if my plans didn't work out. I was not thinking of getting him sometime soon. I was thinking I would definitely be getting Petra before I would this character. But the doll that I actually ended up ordering was Hyacinth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we go! For those of you guys who have been watching my videos for quite a long time now, like years now, I have been talking about this character for years <laughs> and that I have wanted to actually shell this character as a doll for a very, very, very long time and that I have been struggling with finding the perfect sculpt to suit him for ages since he's a very distinct looking character, if that makes sense. Like. There's a very distinct quality about him, and I will talk about that in a second. But again, yeah, for those of you guys who have been with me for a long time, you know that I have struggled with shelling this character as a doll and having really just the hardest time finding a suitable sculpt for him, despite him being a very important character in my unicorn character story. He's very important to that of Euclid, my mini Filuka, and Faustus, my assumed Shale, um, and their little trio. He's very important since he is the other member of their trio, and um, I've wanted him as a doll for ages and just having have had a really difficult time, but I have actually finally found a proper sculpt for him that I think will be proper anyway, that I think will work out really, really, really well. I'm crossing my fingers on this, um, <laughs> since I've had so much trouble with trying to find the perfect one. But the sculpt that I have went ahead and chosen for him is actually Immortality of Soul Co. 
I believe is how you're supposed to pronounce that. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> doll names, man. But yes, this is a sculpt that I have actually looked at and admired for a very, very, very long time, but I actually completely put out of my mind and forgot about for like ages because for some reason I thought that this company only did like limited editions. Like I thought that like for some reason like I never checked on this company. Like I never went to their website and actually checked on it again because they mostly make SD sized dolls so like it's not my thing so I don't visit their website very often. Um, but anyway, <laughs> for some reason I had the impression that they only did like limited editions. As much as I liked this particular sculpt, I thought that like I would never see it or get the chance to own it ever. So I put it out of my mind completely. But in finding their company again and looking at their dolls and realizing that they're not limited, I happened upon this sculpt again and it really just sort of like struck me as being right for Hyacinth. The reason is, is that this particular sculpt is very, very tall. It's like a 50 centimeter sculpt. He's very, very tall and more mature um, than a lot of MSDs, especially MSD boys. You guys probably know that finding more mature MSD boys that are in proper scale with other MSDs is really difficult. It's very, very hard. And Hyacinth is very unique in that he he's more physically mature than most of my other characters. He's more like masculine physically. He's taller and just more built, but he's very slender and like, anyway, he's more mature than like, say like Faustus and Shu and my other um, MSD male characters. But he's a very difficult character to find a face sculpt for because he has a very like sort of unique expression and look that I think is difficult to capture. I can't remember how much I've explained about Hyacinth's character in the past, so I'll kind of ramble on about it a little bit here. Sorry for the long videos. <laughs> Hyacinth, like I said, he's very sort of physically mature, but my unicorn characters, they actually don't mature based on time like humans do, like we do. Like someone who's 18 years old, they always have a certain height and look about them, you know? But my unicorn characters, they're very different. They don't mature based on time, but rather by their environments and by circumstance. And I know that's kind of hard to understand, but certain environmental and circumstantial factors are what contribute to their physical growth and not as a matter of time. Time has very little to do with it. And the biggest factor that contributes to them physically maturing, um, as far as only their body, not necessarily their mind or anything, but the biggest thing that adds to that is finding their proper trio. Of course, again, my unicorn characters, if you guys don't know, how long have you been here by now? Um, <laughs> my unicorn characters, if you guys don't know, they form romantic trios rather than pairs. And it's not like a perversity. It's not like a choice. It's actually part of their species. They have to. In order for them to really physically mature and get to that next level of maturity, they have to find the other members of their trios. And by interacting with them and their special energies that they have, it actually makes them grow. So case in point, in Hyacinth's case, um, I think I've explained this story before, but I, I can't remember if I have. In the case of Hyacinth, the day that he's actually born um, and brought out to meet other people of his species is actually the day that he meets one of the members of his trio. It just worked out that the very day that he was born and shown to other people was the day that he found one of the members of his trio, or so we think. Um, <laughs> and he actually meets Faustus is the first one that he meets. And because, you know, they're part of the same trio, uh, then later on he meets Euclid and he grows rapidly because of this, because again, the day that he met Faustus was the day that he was born and he was already introduced to his whole trio in just a very, very, very short period of time, which isn't usually the case with most of their species. They can go hundreds of years without meeting a member of their trio, and they can look like they're 12 years old for hundreds of years if that so happens to be the case. But in Hyacinth's case, it's uh, very much the opposite. He actually matured physically very, very, very quickly. But, uh, <laughs> but his mental maturity is not quite all there. At the point that I have him as a doll, I imagine that he's probably about maybe like 13 or 14 years old in actual canonical time. From his looks, you would think that he's maybe like 24, 25-ish, like an er, adult. But yes, so his mental maturity is very, very different, especially considering that my unicorn characters can live for hundreds upon hundreds of years. So in their sort of species, he is incredibly young, incredibly juvenile, despite looking very mature. So for his sculpt, it was very, very difficult to sort of find a sculpt that I think really captures the sort of maturity of 
his physical body, but also in his face captures a very sort of innocent, young, pensive, timid sort of quality that he has because he is very much a like sort of timid, shy kind of child in a grown man's body, if that makes sense. <laughs> So it was very, very difficult for me to sort of really definitively pick a sculpt for him that I think really captured this quality. I found a lot of sculpts that I think might suit him, but I really wanted a sculpt that captured that look, that sort of like pensive, shy, childish look, you know what I mean? And I really think that this particular sculpt actually does have that a lot. There's not too many owner pictures, unfortunately, but all the ones that I have seen really do give me that sense of like shy sort of timidness, that sort of softer look, despite being a more mature sculpt, if you know what I mean. It's hard to explain in words, but hopefully you guys can kind of understand what I'm getting at when you sort of see the sculpt. The company pictures don't really do him justice, I don't think, but I have seen some very, very lovely customs that I think very much evoke what I'm speaking of. Yes, so after years upon years of debating what I wanted to do with his character and what sculpt I wanted to try for him, I have finally settled on this particular one and I am crossing my fingers, all my fingers and toes that it works out for him because I have struggled with him so much in the past, figuring out a sculpt for him, what direction I want to go with him, and finding a proper scale doll and maturity and all that kind of stuff in the expression. It's been very difficult, so I can't say with 100% certainty, like a lot of my other dolls, that it will work out. I don't know like I'm hoping for the best and I'm really really excited about it and for, like I said from the onus pictures that I have seen I'm really really excited and think that it will work out the way I want it to and I love how tall and big that he is like it's it's perfect it's proper to his story canonical story he's also huge by the way if I didn't mention that not only is he more physically mature than like some of my other characters he's very very tall and again he's like technically very very young but he has like this giant, giant man's body and he's very like awkward and clumsy and anyway. <laughs> Hyacinth is a very interesting, funny character. But yes, yeah, so he is going to be absolutely massive next to Euclid, and that's perfect because there is a very drastic height difference between him and Euclid, and also between him and Faustus. So I'm hoping that it works out very, very well. And the reason that I ordered him much sooner than I anticipated is because the company was actually having a big anniversary sale. They actually had like 40 to 50% off all of their dolls, which is crazy. It's very rare that you can find like deals like that, you know, within doll companies. Usually there's like a very small percentage sale, like maybe 10% if that sometimes, but usually just get free stuff. Um, <laughs> but in this case, they were having a giant um, anniversary sale and this doll is very expensive on his own. Most of the dolls that I have I mean, they're expensive, but like, there's a few that are more expensive I have than this one, like Nostalgion and let's see, Euclid, I think are the only ones that I think equal to this particular doll in cost. So yes, he's very expensive. So having the opportunity to actually spend like half as much, something that I couldn't pass up. Of the three dolls that I had on my wish list, mind you, I had three dolls on my wish list, not like 16, not like 20. I had three dolls on my wish list. And of those three, the company that makes one of them happened to have a giant 50% off sale. So I'm like, okay, this is kind of like fate. So, you know, I think I'll just go ahead and just do this now. <laughs> so yes, it just worked out, but it just, you know, happened like really good timing and I was able to afford him. So yes, I actually ordered him in April um, when they had the sale event. I put him on a layaway and he's all paid off now. And I don't think he'll be ready to be shipped a month or two at least. I have to look on their site again because they posted like a... um a shipping schedule for their dolls, like depending on when you ordered, because they got a lot of orders. And I think based on the time that I ordered, I think he'll be ready in like another month or two, but we shall see. It could be longer, it could be shorter, I have no idea. But I'm very, very excited about him because if you guys watched my diorama video that I talked about with bookcases and the dioramas and stuff, I am making a diorama of one of Euclid's rooms and I explained that um, Hyacinth is very important to this room as it has a lots of books and flowers and Hyacinth is the one that actually brings a lot of these books and flowers to Euclid and it's really a big factor in what makes this room and diorama Rama um, come together. So I'm very, very excited to have Euclid and Hyacinth together as dolls because they're very important to each other and they have a very important relationship to each other. And that diorama, that room is very significant to the two of them uh, more than anything. I just can't wait to see them together and in that space. I think it'll be just, oh, I'm so excited. I hope it works out exactly how I plan and hope. I'm really crossing all my fingers and toes. This will work out, but I'm very, very, very excited. And yes, I don't really have too much things for him at all, honestly. <laughs> 
I've been, like I said, devoting a lot of my funds to working on my storage situation in my room and getting bookshelves and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't have like too much extra funds to um, devote towards getting hyacinth things yet. And he's a very awkward size as far as dolls are concerned. So finding clothes for him is probably gonna be difficult and I'm gonna have to make a lot of them which is unfortunate, but fortunate, um, because <laughs> I want to practice sewing more. But I haven't been able to get him too much stuff. I have some plans for things I'd like to get him in the future. I need to get some more fiber to make his wig, since I have part of it already, but I need to get a little bit more. I need to work on making him clothes when he gets here and stuff, and yeah. But I will talk to you about him and more things I want to get for him, and all that kind of stuff when he arrives, probably, if not sooner, I don't know. But yes, just want to tell you about my new additions, um, which is only the one, and I'm very, very excited for him. I am maybe debating on getting another doll sometime soon. Dolls, maybe, I'm not too sure. Like I said, I really wanna keep my focus. I have certain projects that I want to do and I really want to make sure that I focus on them and make sure I'm giving a lot of attention to all my other dolls and stuff. But there are, of course, characters that I would like to shell that I've been wanting to for a very long time. Of course, one being Petra and Mara, like I mentioned. But there are a few other characters that I've been thinking about and might want to grab as well. There's one in particular, a little sculpt, that has been really, really inspiring to me and I think will work perfectly as a reshell for a doll that I'm parting with very soon. So we shall see what happens. If anything does change, if I do end up ordering any new dolls, I will definitely make sure to tell you guys, hopefully sooner than the last time than this time. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it won't be months before I actually update you guys again. Yes. Hopefully you guys are very much looking forward to Hyacinth. Wish me luck that he works out. And uh, if there are any more dolls in the way, I will be sure to tell you guys. So, yes. Thank you guys so, so, so very much for watching, as always. And if you guys didn't see my previous video where I talked about my thoughts and feelings and reflections on the hobby, then, of course, I will be partnering with some dolls as well sometime soon. Watch that video if you haven't, so you can figure out, you know, you can know who it is and everything. But I will be parting with some dollies soon. Yeah, I think it's relevant. Um, <laughs> with new additions, you know, sometimes also comes uh, new sacrifices in order to get said new additions. So, anyway, but Hyacinth, excited, very, very excited. Um, yeah, thank you guys very, very much for watching, and I will update you guys soon. Er than last time. <laughs>